Across a flamingo. <laughs> Uh, that's the best joke of the season. Did he find the angel? So it's under a tree. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the Anabs of Kulisarak and Geek. Welcome to my channel. We at the home stretch. Three episodes left. I legit watched the whole season two of Out of Banks in one day and recorded it. Did commentary. You know how big that is, my introverted self? I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow, though. <laughs> or today, since it's technically almost 4 a.m. <laughs> so, let's not waste any more time. The previous episode wasn't my favorite. Tony Lee was off the rails. Sarah was playing victim but causing the problems. That she was blaming people for a topper, turned from being a nice guy who was comforting, who still had feelings for her, for a douche dude who still had feelings for her. Then on the other hand, John B, dog, move, move on. Yeah, move on. Because I know Sarah now is going to come to you guys, tell her about the treasure map she found in the room, which she totally forgot that. The house was ransacked to find this treasure and her sister's missing <laughs> and the door was open. Like there were so many what the fuck moments with the previous episode, but I'm still a fan of the show. Hopefully it goes up. Like I finally understand the bad guys now. They were threatening in the in yes why am I saying yesterday? The previous episode. So I'll give them that. They finally threatened. First it was just a woman and crutches and one dude. But now he's got a squad, marksmanship, and all that shit. So, yeah, let's dive right in today's episode. I knew she was gonna go to them. She's gonna act like what happened yesterday didn't happen. Now they're all interested. Also, the same photography in this shot. Is this show going full supernatural on us? Again, this is all cool and stuff. Yeah. What happened to your family, girl? <laughs> so this house was part of his family's legacy. The sister pops out of nowhere. Why didn't his sister respond previous episode? She called out so many times. Come on, get engaged with the story. Stop pointing out errors. Across a flamingo. <laughs> oh, that's the best joke of the season. Did he find the angel? So it's under a tree. Oh, they're going to be stuck in the sinkhole. Oh, they're not going to make it. They're going to have to walk. They made it through? Why was that massively dramatic if they're going to make it through? I feel like they're just filling in time now. The season could have been eight episodes. Maybe it's just me complaining because I'm tired. What is JJ on about right now? Did she just say he caused the riot? Didn't she come to him and start shit? What? She's just being petty. Let me just think of that way she's just being petty she's basically saying i dumped you how dare you move on <laughs> like what happened sarah in the past three episodes she was a leader man she was making moves it's not the cross it's probably another riddle the casket is not shaped like a cross it's probably just his remains are they gonna leave the casket? How much you wanna bet the casket's got a clue? I probably should be making bets as tired as I am. Why are they focusing on her comforting him? They burying her again. Bury a friend. Ah <laughs> He's probably gonna get a postcard from the dad. I knew he wasn't dead. What did he see? 
I would have lost my money. He's joking. He's joking. They found the cross. Well, the location of the cross. Oh, now it makes sense. Now they're gonna get stuck. Okay, now it makes sense. I was losing hope, show. Ooh, they slid in the water. Giving her a reason to be to confront her parents. Smart. Cause that storyline was going nowhere. Also, needed to bring it back. He doesn't trust Rose for shit. She got a letter from your dad. God damn, her parents are happy without her in the house? His parents are super weird. God damn, JJ. How did he get released? They're bringing all the parents back in this episode. Oh man. Yeah, they finally gonna talk. Hey yo, is that an alligator? They doing pit stops? What is he doing? God damn. This is a weird conversation. Did he try to think of a stabbing her? What was that? Why is she helping? Oh shit. Dude, he got dragged by an alligator. Dude is fighting a gator. It's swimming away after being stabbed? Dude legit beefing with a teenager. Is he gonna take the pills? He's actually helping his dad out? So now he's gonna do some grand speech about he's been a shit dad? <laughs> Bruh, your friend almost got eaten by a gator and you're helping him? Dude, I know this is a meaningful moment for JJ, but they said 20 minutes wasn't enough. Now they're just stalling. Get your priorities straight, fam. Feel later. You did take the pills. Look at these two psychopaths bonding. Oh, it's Topper. Oh, these two. This was so convenient for the bad guys to know where the location of this thing is. Yeah. You fucked up. He's telling them to shut up. Their friendship is cute. They actually got it out. Still like two more episodes. So... No happy ending yet. Where's JJ watching all these movies that he keeps referencing as his plans? You found it? They're just telling him not to do it. Oh, your brother's gonna arrive. She heard noise two times. He hid it in wood. He found it. Look how the celebration gets cut short. God damn. They gave him a landing pad. Oh shit, it's falling on you, dog. Oh, is that how it ends, really? We're gonna end the episode with a falling cross, really? Really? Really, is that how we doing? We already know that the cross is gonna be taken from them. What can I say about this episode? Still tonally, there's some issues because <laughs> it seems like it's trying to be its old self while also trying to remember all the trauma they've been through, but they're also trying to act like, nah, we still normal teenagers at the end of the day. <laughs> like totally, it's off. It's off for me. Still a good episode. Still thoroughly enjoying the show though. Is it just me though? Am I tripping? Is it me being tired? 
because sometimes it's serious you're on treasure hunting mode then boom teenage drama then boom trauma then boom treasure hunt then boom trauma treasure hunt gator <laughs> teen drama again like it's trying to be so many things at once it's like <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Um, like it needs to be more focused. You know what I'm saying? Like we're looking for this treasure, right? Then boom, my dad. Somehow is out of prison. First thing he did, does is rob oh, somebody. Now I got to deal with that whole situation. Then in the midst of it, your dad is arguing with a teenage girl. <laughs> they even physical with each other. He even considered stabbing her. Like so many like uh, strings in the story. It's a confusing orchestra. You feel what I'm saying? Like it needs somebody to reel it all in. Because when it works, it works. Like when they fully focus on the end goal, it works. When they fully friends, it works. When it's fully teen drama, it works. But when it's all jumbled into one, sometimes it's like, yo, you can't go from dead to never coming back. To oh, that's a speech. To oh, now we're looking for treasure. To oh, now we could die. There's an arrow on us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so much things happen. 